Hello. So my recent trip in Oregon, I took this picture on a sunset on Pacific Ocean. And when I post online, uh, somebody referenced, hey, can we do this in Vue? Well, to do all of this, it will take a little bit time. It's possible to do it. But specifically, people was asked about the shimmering water. So right here in this corner, okay, if we come closer, um, okay, let me go zoom in. Okay, there we go. So we can zoom to this specific area. You can see right here how the light is zooming, um, kind of shimmering. Of course, um, to do all of this image in Vu, we'll need to have it special in the waves and all the stuff. But what I want to show you, how we can, with preset materials, to do this kind of light shimmering on the materials inside the Vu. So before we start to do this, let's go look on this small, simple diagram I did it. So right here, example, it's water. It's normal and we have a sun and it's well reflected, reflected equally from everything. So if we have it waves and the sun start reflecting, it will start reflecting from different real, um, angles, different directions. So for example, if we have it one, this is a refle uh, light reflection will be gone for us. Notice it is will affect by angle. So and this is what we are going actually to work with primarily how the angle, how the sun will reflect to us and how it will affect us. So let's go ahead inside the Vue application and I'm using Vue Extreme. Um, this is will work for almost any versions of the Vue. And if you have a specific module to control of the lighting and material editor. So let's go, but before we create water, actually what I'm going to do, I will just create a simple cube. Sometimes it's much easy just to preview in this cube. And this is cube will represent for us water. Okay, let's go down a little bit this way and adjusting. So we can preview of this. Okay, let's go also in atmosphere editor and you know what? Standard spectral is what I wanted. So nothing fancy right here. And if we start work with material, we can go ahead and preload it water. But we'll start from beginning. So we'll take flat white, very, very basic one. And let's, as we're going, so we can pr uh, preview our progress as we're going. So let's go ahead, preview this. And you can see right here, this is a very simple white cover. So the one, if you notice, we need to do this reflection of the sun. So for this, the probably best take for our example and put it sun on the back. And it's actually, if you notice, I'll just put right here on the middle so we can preview. And this is again, it's what happened in our, the image. I have it sun about right here to the point. And remember, the rays need to reflect back to the viewer. So we want to have a camera kind of on the side, uh, up front of the sun, up front of the camera. Because if we have it on a side, we, we can have it some reflection, but there will be less uh, noticeable or less dramatic look in this case. So it's the reason why we're using up front. Okay, right here we have it, our cube. So let's go ahead inside the cube and once set everything to one all scales we open material editor and one thing what i want to do is modify a function and you can download it anything i'm just going to create a simple fractal right here and we'll go to bump and connect to this fractal so as i say it's nothing fancy going on just very simple fractal we need to look Okay, at this point, if we preview, we can see, okay, we already have a somewhat distortion on this plane. It does not look obviously as a water, but it is have some um, bump map applied to this. So the next what we want to do is now work with our transparency. And most important for us to set a water property. So notice right here we have a global transparency and it's all disabled. As soon when we move it up, we start having additional properties um true reflective with the angle not yet enabled because our refraction is one 
So let's go ahead and pop up this a little bit higher to maybe about 72. Okay. Also, we'll take our refraction and put it to 133. So this is refraction for the water. As we enable, you can see right here, turn reflective with angle. It's kind of a pair for us. Uh, one thing I want to do, I want to just take it, make it very murky. So we kind of have it color and switch this color to a little bit more oceany kind of look. Okay, let's refer. Um, and this is very, very basic. So when we create this one, you can see we have it now more reflection applied. But it's like a blob of reflection. We don't necessarily have those teeny tiny shimmering going on. So to do this, we actually need to work more with a turn reflective with the angle. And again, if we go back to uh, this simple diagram, uh, the more angle, the more lights we'll see, which is can reflect in other areas. So it's meaning if I go and take my reflective all the way to 100%, and you can see right here, we have it kind of fill up because a lot of reflection of the light we can see. It. However, if we're going and we'll take down, there's where we can start having a little bit those effect of the shimmering. You can see right here we have sparks, teeny tiny, because we actually says we don't want reflection everywhere, only on small portions. Okay, so let's go ahead and a little bit amplify on this. So we'll go a little bit less on this. And of course, we need to take and let's take our flare intensity, put it to the hundred percent. Okay, and now we have this blob from the sun. To reduce this, we need to take spawn and go all the way to the one, maybe even less afterwards. Okay, so we add our effect, intensity, reflections. Okay, let's go ahead and render this. Okay, and again, right here you can see we remove a spot, but we have it a little bit more intense on our dots, so a little bit more shimmering again before and now. But I want to still preserve some of the sun effect. I want to add more of those, kind of not just uh, all sparkly. So we'll can go inside the highlights, and in the highlights, let's change our color. We'll give it color of the sunset. And we'll take brightness all the way 100 and shiny percent all the way to the 100. Okay, we also could play a little bit with type of how the distortion, but we'll just keep it on as a metric for now. Okay, let's go to render. And you should see we add a little bit more right in this area. Okay, before and after. You can see now we start having effect from the sun. It's what we wanted. So effect a little bit going in this area. Of course, if we take shiny and put a little bit less than 100, now we will effect more and more. Just let's go, for example, just give it a little bit bigger, more dual effect. And you'll see the blob of the lights, which is will be more highlights this area. Now it's a spreading. So in this case, right there, you can see it's spread more before. We have a little bit more right here and increasing. So this way you can control how the spread of the sun lighting reflection. So with highlights. Okay, let's go back to our shiny. Next thing is what I want to do. It's increase some even more effect of the sky and everything. And we are actually going to use a global reflection for this. So I'm going to um, pop my global reflection. And you know, we can, of course, can go all the way crazy hungry and you can see it's look icy actually kind of. We'll just bring a little bit. And sensitivity on intensity with angle. So this is will be a little bit effect. So let's go ahead put it 100% on this. Actually, now let's go to without 100, so we can preview this way. So about 33. Okay. And you can see 
now with our reflection it's all fill up you can see how the reflection work okay now we take with angle all the way 100 percent and we'll use the minimal re reflectivity at view angle to even narrow down that okay so right here you can see we cut off some of that reflections right in those areas okay and right here with if we're using minimal okay, and you can see this one almost the same so just overall let's keep this on 100 we'll don't want blur reflections We'll take global reflectivity. Just let's go bring a little bit more down. I don't want too much of this. Sensitivity 100%. If you're using global reflectivity very high for some reason you want it, I do recommend then use it color reflect metallic. So you'll notice it will be preserved coloring. But in our case, we'll go a little bit down. So I would just want a little bit touch of this. Okay, we'll have it our Spiracy. and you know what let's do this way we can even pop up type in higher value so we have a little bit more one of those flare okay refractions turn with the angle again we can even go lower so we'll have a little bit more sparks there or you can play around see what angle will provide more for you again the bigger angle the wider area of those uh, shimmering spots will be we'll go decrease this one highlights 100 100 we can also play just put something on the middle right here okay let's go ahead click ok on this one and you know just for the test we'll go to atmosphere editor again you don't necessarily need to do this but i'll just modify so we'll have it A little bit more sunshine kind of look sky fog we can aerial perspective increase so we have a little bit more fog on the back let's go density right there you can notice as I increase we lose some of the flare which is very common so we don't want to do too much of this our glow intensity of the sun also right there affecting and you know what before I do this let me go click ok one thing I forgot to disable after exposure because this will start messing up with my stuff. Atmosphere editor, lights. Let's go. We can bring light a little bit more. Intense in this way. Okay, we'll go again right here. Pop up a little bit on the quality. Okay, I think this is about right. We could increase how the sun a little bit more spread glowing, make a little bit softer on atmosphere, pretend like it's something. Let's go click OK, take our cube. Just for fun, create all of this. Okay. Let's go ahead and render. So it will take a little bit time to render. I'm going to pause this tutorial and resume when it's completed. Okay, so right here we have it. You can see we have it nice. That's of course we can remove some of those to increase better. Oops, wrong one. Okay, let me go stop this render. Okay, we'll go to editor. And again, if you want more of this, remember you can do always take a little bit on the highlights down. As example, let's go take highlights down. Okay, we'll go make our transparency off and we'll take our reflection down. Just so we can see those shimmering effect a little bit. So actually, that's what we're doing. Okay, that is look right intensity 
actions all good and let's go just render this so we can compare with the reduction so we can see just only those areas where they're happening okay, so right here completed we have it all of these dot shimmerings and you can see this is what we reduction on the sun area it's what we did before with the um, highlights and a little bit reflections but here we can just isolate those individual of the shimmerings okay just overall try play around with these settings you can take sun even more down to create angle kind of more um so we have transparency so we have it a little bit more different angles you can move sun different positions see how the shimmering will have um, happen around of course rotate around all the way and again right here you will have it some but not as strong like right there okay let's go move up this up and modify because I have one problem with this you almost want to sit down and kind of play more and more with these settings Okay, thank you again for watching this tutorial and be sure to check more on the YouTube or a pattern page or other areas and have fun to exploring and creating your own sceneries.